Welcome. This is what is happening on the sun today, the 28th of May, 2011. 2,596 years ago, the Greek astronomer and mathematician Thales for the first time successfully predicted a solar eclipse. Much of our date and timing system is based on his methods. Speaking of successful predictions, I'm quite proud of the prediction I made yesterday, which after 24 hours without significant flares, almost as soon as I posted the video, we started getting a series of such flares. We've had actually nine sea flares in the last 24 hours. Most of those coming from a single region on the southeast limb. Let's take a look at the sunspot regions and see what's going on. Region 1216, the single large spot, is now right on the southwest limb and will be gone by tomorrow. No one seems to think that region 1223, in the southern hemisphere near disk centre, has shown some signs of growth. Personally, I don't see it. In fact, I think it's decayed somewhat. But only time will tell who's right. Region 1224 in the northwest has been growing steadily. Region 1225 is rather like region 1216 being a single large spot and not showing very much change. But the big news is region 1226 on the southeast limb. This is a massive sunspot region, much bigger than anything we've seen for quite some time, and is producing much of the flaring activity that I showed earlier. Here's a blow up of that region. You can see how massive the sunspots are. The smaller ones are probably about the size of the Earth, so that big one is probably many, many times the size of the Earth. Quite stunning, eh? So now let's turn to the SDO HMI data to see the evolution of these regions. First in the white light movie, you can see the growth in region 1224. But we won't be able to get very much detail on the new region 1226, either about its sunspots or its magnetic configuration, until it is rotated a little bit further onto the disk. Now let's take a look at the SDO AIA data and see what's going on in the corona. First we'll look at our usual million degree corona, then I'll introduce a much hotter line which looks primarily at what the active regions are doing. There are three things I would like you to notice. First of all, the appearance of region 1226 over the southeast limb. In fact, there seems to be a very dynamic and bright region coming over the northeast limb, which will likely start affecting us in a day or two. In the higher temperature movie, we'll see to the west of Sun Center, there is a dark region. That is coronal hole. And we'll see why that's important in a little while. There are two things I would like you to note in the Transition Region movie. First, the appearance and development of Region 1226, and the dynamic nature of the region that is still behind the northeast limb. Let's first take a look at the development of Region 1226 as it comes over the southeast limb. When you see bright X-like structures, what's happening there is that the flares are so bright that they're saturating the detector, and you're seeing multiple reflections off the multi-layer EUV coating on the mirror. Next we'll take a look at that region up behind the northeast limb. And the stunning thing here is just how dynamic it is, flinging off continuously jets of 50,000 degree temperature material. How many did you see? I thought I saw about 11. Strangely though, we haven't had very much in the way of coronal mass ejections. If you look carefully, you may be able to see something faint off of the east limb, but that's about it. But typically the flares have been very impulsive, which is more of a magnetic growth signature rather than the long duration events that usually occur with coronal mass ejections. You may have noticed one frame in the C3 movie looked rather strange. I've got a freeze frame of it here. And you can see it looks as though there's a lot of particles streaking across in front of the uh, telescope. I've sent an inquiry into NASA as to what's going on here, uh, and I'll get back to you when I find out. The ACE data gives us information about the solar wind. And you can see the density of the solar wind has gone up to 10 protons per cubic centimeter at times. The overall velocity has been increasing, but as the velocity increased, the temperature dropped. This is a signature of a high-speed stream starting up, and that probably originates from that coronal hole I pointed out earlier. From the NOAA 15 data, we can see that the auroral zone is quite active compared with normal. And the KP index has been varying between 2 and 6, where 6 is storm level. This is due to the high-speed stream that is sweeping past the Earth, originating in that coronal hole in the western hemisphere of the Sun, which you can see as a dark area in this GOES SXI image. So in summary then, the sunspot number has risen to 65, the X-ray background is up to the C2 level, the radio sun flux has increased to 90 solar flux units, the solar wind speed has increased to 500 kilometers per second with a density of about 2 protons per cubic centimeter, and the KP index is varying between quiet and a low storm level. 
Because of the conditions, I'm going to upgrade my forecast to one of the most active ones I've given so far. I think C flares are obviously very likely. M flares are now quite possible. Though I'm increasing the chance of having an X flare uh, from very low to low, still I think the possibility is quite remote, unless we get major new growth in region 1226. The sunspot number will likely go higher. I'm sure we're going to get more coronal mass ejections, and a significant geomagnetic storm is quite possible. In the slightly longer term, we see that there are still some bright regions to come over the east limb, and if those hold together, activity will only increase. If you'd like more details about what's going on on the sun, follow some of the links in the description box below. If you want to see previous editions of the sun today, go to my channel, and they're listed there, along with some videos I've done on global warming, which might be of interest to you. So that's it for today. Keep safe. Bye for now.